Hello everybody, Heglin Gamer here. Have you ever wondered how to make your own texture pack in Minecraft? Well, that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. I'm going to show you how to make your own texture pack using GIMP. Um, GIMP is basically an image, uh, you know, maker. You can uh, edit and create um, pictures. So if you have GIMP, perfect. If you don't, go ahead and get it. So first things first, you're going to go to your finder, then you're going to go to, uh, let's see, you're going to go to your home, so I'm going to go bam, bam, users, here, okay, so now I'm at my home, and uh, I'm going to go over to a library, inside of my home but right here you can see there isn't a library and if you can see a library then open it up if you can't see a library well I'll show you what to do so just go to go up here in the top and then hold down alt and then click library and that should open up the library for you after you've done that go to application support then go to minecraft and then what you gotta do is go into versions, then go into one, or then go into whatever um, update you want to do. I'm going to go to 1.13.2. Then you're going to go um, to the 1.13.2.jar and open with Archive Utility. Bam. Then you're just gonna wait for that to uh, be to finish. Once it's done, you'll see another folder 1.13.2 here, and you're going to open that. Then you're going to sort by kind, like this. And then you're going to go to assets, Minecraft, so copy textures, bam. Now you're going to create a new folder and name it whatever you want. I'm, I'm going to name it textures like that. And then you're going to put textures inside of textures. <laughs> so inside of this textures folder um, that I just created, I'm going to have uh, this textures package. Uh, I'll just skip ahead of the video until it's done. And yeah, see you then. So once that's done, you're going to have to go into textures. And in here are all the different items and blocks and GUI and environment and all sorts of stuff uh, in the Minecraft game. So you can explore this. Um, but what we're going to do first is we're going to go into item and we're going to uh, find a sword. And we're going to edit the sword. Uh, so let's change a diamond sword for example. So then once you found the item you want to edit, and you don't need to do a diamond sword, you can do whatever you want. Like you could do an emerald or I don't know. So I'm going to do a diamond sword. So open that item or block up um, and then just bam go like this and um, copy it. Then you're going to close back out and you can't just go like this and copy it from here. You need to actually open it first. Otherwise, it's not going to uh, be able to paste into GIMP. So then you're going to uh, open GIMP. And then you're going to uh, create a new project here. And you can create it any size you want. Uh, I'm 16 by 16 is the default. And then, um, but you need to make sure that uh, the it's... Uh, fill width is transparency, um, otherwise it won't work. Then click OK, and then uh, press the plus button to zoom in on the image, and the minus button to zoom out. But we're gonna have to zoom in now. So then you're gonna do, then you're gonna paste it. There we go. There I got my diamond sword, and you'll see that um, I'm only able to draw on the diamond sword, not outside here. So to fix that, just go on to here, 
uh, on to floating section pasted layer right click and click uh, anchor layer now you're able to draw wherever you want um, so this is the pencil tool uh, I'm gonna, just gonna teach you a couple of basic things in case you don't know anything about camp so pencil tool just the basic pencil you can draw with um, then there is the uh, the color select color picker tool um, which lets you pick a color so like for example I can click here and now I have this color selected and then um, there is the brush tool like if you uh, select this color over here and then uh, start brushing over here then you'll see it, it's kind of starting to turn into that shade so you can kind of use that to add some uh, detail to your image and then last there's the eraser, eraser tool which lets you erase like that um, so then you can also pick the color so you just uh, click here and then pick whatever color you want so I'm gonna make myself an item um, a new diamond sword and I'll be back once I am done okay so this is my new sword yep it's a diamond sword it looks really weird and I basically just picked a bunch of random colors and made you know it, you don't need to follow my example anyway so <laughs> once you're done with your um, item which hopefully looks better than this <laughs> you just go to file and then you go to export and then you're going to um, take then you're going to name the uh, item whatever you want to replace so I'm trying to replace a diamond sword so diamond sword dot PNG um, and then you're going to place it desktop and textures so that it's going to be inside of your textures folder that we created. Um, then just click export and once this pops up uh, we're going to click export again like that. Now um, we're going to go into our textures folder and there we can see that our diamond sword is there. Um, next, we're going to open Minecraft. So, open Minecraft. I'll cut ahead until it's open. Then you're going to go over, then you're going to go over here, over here, over here, and then go to go, hold out. Go to library, application support, and then find Minecraft. Then go to versions, 1.13.2, or whatever version you selected. Then go to the 1.13.2 folder inside and copy it. Then you're going to go into Minecraft. Go to Options, Resource Packs, Open Resource Pack Folder. Then you're going to paste the item. Then once it's done pasting, you're going to open 1.13.2, Open Assets, Minecraft, Textures, and then Item, since uh, Diamond Sword is an item. Then you're going to paste it into item. Then you're going to click replace. Then we're going to go to Minecraft and click done. And then we're going to go back to resource packs. Now, uh, make sure that 1.13.2 is over on the right one. Then click done. Then single player and then either uh, create a new world or join an old, a world you've already made. And then, if we go into uh, combat, you'll see that the diamond sword is actually our new version of the diamond sword. 
Well, I hope you guys learned something today, and it's super laggy because I got a bunch of programs open. <laughs> um, and that you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you all later. Bye!